What's up, you guys? My name is Creepy Boss, and welcome back to another video for you today. Um, we are going to be taking apart. Well, not taking apart, but we're going to be updating the. We're going to be. What I'm going to do is show you. If you have an HP. It's an HP Compact 8200 8, is what it's called, but 8200 if you want to be there like that. But, um,. We're gonna be taking, um, we have to, and we're just gonna show you how to, you know, upgrade your SSD drive, which this is not really an upgrade, but it is not a really an upgrade, but it was one I'm laying around, so I'm like, hey, I want to show people how to do it, so I'm just showing you how to do it. By the way, I do, I do know how to do this stuff because I've done it, um, done it pretty long time. I've actually taken apart a laptop and stuff too. Which that's kind of hard. It gets kind of frustrating, but I mean, it's easy. And it's actually really fun if you want to do it as hobbies, like, you know, building and building pieces. It's really fun. No, I don't need this. Okay. So you just take the little thing off, and you then, but you also have to take this front piece off, and if you see, let me show you, see them green things, the little slabs, what you do is you pull on, like I'm doing right now, and what you do is you get it, like if you're on a table, kind of get it off the edge or something and just pull it off. Now it might not be that easy the first time because I've already um I you know I didn't take I just I just took it off like not a minute ago because I was looking at something to see if I can actually take the set of drive out. Now the second thing you do either you take the okay so let me show you either you take these cords out that are right here and one right here and one right here or you take this, just this whole thing out. Now, if you're taking the whole thing, the cord and the set of drive out, I mean, the whole set of drive and the cords out, then you, you know, take these out. And then, you know, or just undo this and then take these out. But if you just want to get the set of drive out, and you want the cords in there, just pull it off like that. And I forgot... I forgot to put my fan back in, but see, this is what you do, and then, same thing, see this little, this, ow, shoot, that's sharp, this, well, there's this green thing, right, right about here, and you gotta pull it, I mean, not pull it, you gotta push it, like that, and you push it, you push it out, and there's your side drive, see, if you want to take the SATA drive out, that was just how to do that. Now, if you want to take the SSD drive out, which I'm not taking part of the whole thing because I don't want to, and I also I don't have thermal paste, so. But if you just want to take the SATA drive, or take these out, this out, you have to take the SATA drive out. Then you, what you do is you, I gotta be careful, you pull on it like that, and what it does is it's like, it like goes like this, so. So it'll pull it back, so it doesn't break your, you know, that's the thing. And then there's these screws. Like, they're right there. And I have to show you this. So, this, see this? It's like the little, um, okay, let me just point it right here. It's the little five star thing, if you see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like the five star. Uh, it's like a star little thing. This is what you have to use to take it out. You know what I mean? If you you probably have one, it's not like a big deal. Or there's like these little things in the middle of it. You can take it out with a sorry. Or you can take you know take it out with a flathead if you have one skinny enough and long enough to like go through. But it would strip your thing. So I would just use this. And you just. Now, 
and they have little foam things around them so if you don't want to mess up your thing just put the keep the little foam things on it the screws which there are they're like really beaten up because this is a pre-built PC from or no not pre-built this is a refurbished PC from someone on eBay but they sent me the wrong one but I'm actually just you know gonna use it but the one I'm the little SSD drive I know this one I have in it it's a 250 gig and the dumb thing is that I'm putting another 250 gig back in it the reason why I did that is because I don't have like if I had a 500 gigabyte one which I do on my PlayStation but you can't but I really don't want to put that in there because you know it has PlayStation stuff on it which if anyone does know every PlayStation you get does come with that and you can easily take it out it's not like built into it to where you have to like go in you know stuff like that but you know that's how you have to then see it it's all unscrewed now and you just simply well just pull it out so it's out and this is the case you have to put in there now all you do now is you put your new your new one whatever just slide it back in there well if I can do it you put your shoes back on When you're done, you know, you just on. And you just you, know, put it, you just put it back in there. You just do that. Get the SATA drive. Put it back. You know. that in there and you get the front case and make sure you don't you know get confused because I at first I almost like broke my thing trying to put it back on because I was doing well I didn't almost break it but you know I was like saying why am I putting because I put it on the wrong side and you know like I said do this kind of Set drive back in, and you're done. Well, um, if you guys, um, if you guys, uh, please be sure to hit the like button um, on the video and please subscribe. And also tell me if you want to see anybody who's a PC person and does really and watches my, you know, stuff. Tell me if you want it or people that like that. Um, tell me if you want to see more PC builds. Like not, yeah, actually PC building or like PC um um what's it called? PC like 
stuff like putting the thing to put them pieces together putting pieces together and all that just tell me and yeah I'll see you later peace